Today I want to talk about Southard versus Ballard Marine Construction, which is a federal court case out of Washington. Southard was employed by Ballard Marine as a commercial diver. Importantly, he worked on both wet diving marine construction projects aboard marine, uh, Ballard Marine's vessels and on dry diving projects as a compressed air worker on tunnel construction projects on land. During a dry diving project on land, he sustained decompression sickness and neuropathy. Southard asserted claims in Washington Federal Court for Jones Act negligence and maintenance and cure benefits as a result of his injuries. Ballard Marine claimed that he was not a seaman. The Washington Federal Court determined that a majority of the diver's work was on land-based tunneling projects and that his wet diving work was not consistent and was only intermittent such that he did not have a substantial connection to a vessel. The court concluded that Southard was not a seaman. The important takeaway for seamen is that in order to be afforded the special protection under the law available to only seamen, and in order to bring claims for Jones Act negligence on seaworthiness and maintenance and cure benefits, you must have a connection to a vessel that is both substantial in duration and nature. If the circumstances allow, Jones Act employers will always try to prove you're not a seaman, because your injury claim is worth much less if you're not a seaman. It's important to hire an experienced maritime attorney to counter this defense. If you have any questions about whether you are a Jones Act seaman, please contact me on my website at www.salta.law. Thank you.